Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, we'll be showing you how to use PayPal, the ultimate guide. So we have a lot of topics here to discuss. So let's start with how to open PayPal account. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to PayPal.com. So in the PayPal website, the first thing that you want to search here is for the sign up button that you should see at the top right of your screen. So just click on sign up and from here you'll be uh, choosing on what type of account that you want to open up. So if you just want to use this to transfer money uh, to uh, loved ones or for personal use or for example you want to use this one to buy uh, content, videos, uh, games or a lot of other stuff like clothes, uh, jewelry online. Well, you could just use the personal account. But if you're planning on doing this as a business, like you want to make this as a payment method for your website or just general use for business, you just want to use the business account. But for this video, we're just going to use the personal account option here and just click on next. From here, it's going to ask I am. So I just want to use the appropriate one that actually describes you best. But for example, we're just going to use the online shopper here and just click on next. From here, you want to enter your mobile number. So your mobile number is actually acquired for this one. So let's just enter our mobile number here. So from here, it's going to give you a security challenge. Just make sure that you are not a bot. So just go ahead and do this. And from here, it's going to ask for the confirmation of your phone number. So just wait for this to arrive and just enter that code. Now from here, you want to actually set up your profile. So you need an email address, your first name, your middle name, last name, and the password that you want to use for your account. So just fill up these details and just click on next. And now from here, you want to actually add your nationality, date of birth, your ID type, ID number, the street that you actually go, grew up with. So that, that includes the house number and the subdivision and the barangay or district that it actually this portion actually depends on what, on what country or region that you're currently at. But for and here in the Philippines, we have the barangay or districts. And here we also have the city, municipality, and especially you have the zip code here and the province or region. So you just want to fill up these details here. And one more thing, you could actually just add the check next to the I confirm I have read consent agreed to PayPal's user agreement and privacy statement. So if you want to um, know more about the user agreement uh, for PayPal or the privacy statement here, just click on the links that is present on your screen. And that would actually pop up a new tab here and you could read more about it. So just uh, enter the details, I had a check on the I confirm section here and just click on agree and create account and you'll be able to create your account. So once you've created your account, it's going to ask you, what do you want to try first? So for this example, we just want to use the send money option here, but you could actually uh, just skip this one if you want to. Now here, if you want to send money, you first have to link a card. So from here, you just want to click on the debit or credit card number here and just enter your card number. Also, you need to add your uh, card type. So if you have a visa, go ahead and select that. But they also have different options here. So make sure you use the correct one. So here, you also have to enter the expiration date, the security code, and also the billing address. So your billing address is actually the one that's going to be set from the address that you've set on our previous page. And from here, you just want to link your card and you should be good. So once you've linked your card, you'll be redirected to the default UI for PayPal. So here I am in the send and request section since we just recently uh, added a card and went to send and request. So let's just go to home. So there's a lot of UIs that you could use here or uh, go to. So we also have the send and request options here. Or well, if you want to add a bank, card or bank here just use the add bank or card and you could also create an invoice 
Well, if you want to look or see the recent activities on your account, you could go to activity. And from here, you'll be, uh, be able to see all the transactions that you made previously, if you made one. <laughs> so uh, another thing, you could go to wallet. And from here, you could view all the cards or bank that you've set up for your account. And actually, that's basically it. So that it's really easy to create your account. That actually just took me around five minutes if I was actually explaining everything. So it's pretty easy. You can do this under five minutes. Uh, you can do this. And that's basically it. How to create a PayPal account. In this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up any browser on our PC. Let's go open up any browser here and you want to go to google.com and search for the following, which is going to be PayPal. Now, in this case, you could also add your country here because depending on your country, you'll be accessing a different website. So if, if for example, you live, in, you live in Australia, make sure to enter PayPal Australia, or if you live in the Philippines, make sure to choose PayPal Philippines. In this case, let's go ahead and open up the first thing here that says PayPal.com. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do next is we just need to click on the sign up button at the top right. Now, from here, we need to choose what type of account that we want to open up. So in this case, since we want to open up a personal account, we will be using that. But if you want to open up a business account, you could go and choose business here. But just to give you some warning here, it might ask you further details, like for example, details about your business and verifying your business with them. But for now, let's go and choose personal account and hit on next. Now, we now need to choose our country. So as an example, I'm going to choose Philippines here. So it might take a while for me to see it, but just scroll down a bit and you should be able to see it. Let's go and choose this one, click on get started. Now we need to provide some information about ourselves that includes our email. Let's go and provide that and just click on the next button. Now on the next pages, it's going to ask you or PayPal will going to ask you to enter some details about yourself. That includes your phone number, your email address, the first name, last name, and the password that you want to use for your account. Now also, they might ask you to provide your address, which in this case, provide your nationality as well as your date of birth, your postal number, and municipality here if required. Now, in this, day, in this case, you could go ahead and proceed on the next pages. Now, to finally complete your account, you just need to add a card or you might need to link a bank account, which in this case, choose either of one of them. So, for example, if you want to link a credit card, go ahead and choose that and provide your debit or credit card number, the card type, expiration date, and security code here. Go ahead and click on link card to complete your profile and you should be good. You have to get money on PayPal. So you're feeling you on PayPal right now and you're wondering how do you actually receive money on your PayPal account? Well, this one is actually pretty simple. So the first thing that you need to do here is you need to go to paypal.com, log in into your account, and once logged in, we should be able to see our main dashboard here for people. So just a few information, depending on where you're currently located or your account is actually set up, the UI could actually change. So currently my UI is currently this one, so it might be different for you, but some options are going to be the same thing or same for functionalities in your account. In this case, what we need to do next is at the top right, you should see the button that says send and request. Now, if you want to receive money or request money from another, another user, you can go ahead and click on request here. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to basically uh, enter their contact information. So in this case, you could enter their name. So if they already have a PayPal account, you could enter their name here or their username in PayPal or the email address or their mobile number. Now, if you prefer entering their email address here, so for example, I wanna say, I wanna request money from this specific user here. And from here, what we need to do is just click on request from the following email address and just click on next. Now from here, we need to specify the amount that we want to request. So maybe I wanna say, I wanna request, request this following amount here. And from here, just click on request a payment. And this will actually request them to actually uh, request a specific amount to that specific user. Now in this case, you could go ahead and do that for you to request money. But sometimes if you've not verified your account yet, you will be able to receive this option here that says, sorry, you're not authorized to perform this action. So if you receive this issue here, just click on customer service. And from here, you just need to contact them and probably solve this issue here. 
Now, in this case, that is how you actually request money or request a payment from another PayPal user. How to send a PayPal link for payment. So I'll be showing you how to do this exactly on your web browser. Now, by the way, the steps are going to be the same thing whether you're using your mobile device, just access PayPal via your browser. In this case, what we need to do first is we need to access our browser here. Go to people.com and log in into your account. Now, once you've logged in, what we need to do is we need to look for the option that says request. Now, typically, if you're in your mobile device, it's going to be a request or it's going to be a tree bar icon at the top left of your screen. And typically, once you click on it, you should be able to see a drawer and request should now be in there. In this case, let's go and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the meta that we want to request. Now in this case, if you want to request them via email, you could be able, you should be able to enter an email address here. And once you've completed all the details, that would actually send an email to that specific user and they will be able to access a link from that. But what if you want to create a uh, reusable email or a profile email or a profile that they could actually visit or a link that they could visit to basically send you money? Well, what we, what we need to do is we need to create our profile. So in this case, go ahead and click on create a personal profile here. And from here, it's going to say create paypal.me profile. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Now from here, it's going to ask you to add a photo, but for now, I'm going to choose not now. Now from here, we need to choose our link. So let's just say this is going to be my uh, profile link. So let's just uh, add this one. So as you can see, that profile or not that specific link is available. So let's go ahead and click on next here. And from here, it's going to say review your profile. So let's go and review your photo. Also the link, make sure it's correct. And once it's done, you can go ahead and click on agree that my name and photo using your email, but it can be shown to others, make it easier to find me on PayPal. In this case, let's go ahead and click on agree and create, and that should actually create your profile. In this case, let's go ahead and click on manage profile here. And this is what it's going to actually look like. Now, in this case, once they actually uh, have a link uh, or once you, uh, you actually have your profile here, you just click on share here. And as you can see, let's go and click on copy link. Let's go and go back in here, click on X, and it should redirect you back in to your profile here. In this case, I'm going to open up an incognito window here, just give you an idea. And I'm going to paste my link here. And from here, let's just press on enter. Now from here, it should be able, you should be able to see your profile. And once someone actually visits your profile, they could just click, basically click on send here and they will be rejected to PayPal. And they just need to log in or sign up and they will be able to send you money via that link. And that's about it. So this one is actually pretty easy. Just follow the steps and you should be good. How to send international payment on PayPal for goods and services. So in this case, there's going to be some requirements for you to do this. So first things first is you need a PayPal account here, but I'm assuming you already have one and you're currently locked in. Now, in the main UI on the PayPal, this is what you usually see. But depending on where your account is currently uh, created, so since my account is actually created in the Philippines, it is going to what it's going to look like. But uh, in some cases, it's going to be uh, something quite similar with uh, PayPal accounts in other countries. But for now, the most important section here is going to be the send and request buttons here at the top right of our home page. Now, in this case, if you want to pay for something on people or send some a payment internationally, what we need to do here is we just need to click on the send button here. And from here, we need to basically input some information. So in this case, we need to send uh, enter the name, username or email of the person that we want to send to. For example, we have this email address here. So let's just enter their email address here. So. So let's just go ahead and just enter our email here. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and select their email address and we want to specify how much we want to send. So for example, we're going to send Australian or 10 Australian dollars here and we want to choose what this is for. Let's just say it is going to be payment for goods. And from here, we want to click on next. Now from here, we want to choose the appropriate one. So let's just say for goods and services here and click on continue. 
and it should redirect us to the payment or link payment method here. Now, if you haven't added your payment method, it's going to request you to either link a credit card or a bank account. Now, in this case, choose the appropriate one here and fill out all the necessary details. And once you've done that, just follow the steps for you to process your payment. So it's actually pretty easy on sending payments here, but if you're going to request payment from another person, it's going to be it's going to be something different. Like for example, if you're the merchant and you want to receive it, and your client is actually request, uh, requesting you uh, to send a link to for them to actually pay. So for example, the client itself doesn't have a PayPal account yet. Well, you could actually request a payment from them. Now in this case to do that, we need to go back to the homepage here, click on request here. And from here, we want to enter our username or the email uh, the, that you want to request from. So maybe I want to enter this email address again and enter it at gmail.com. From here, choose this email address and we want to click on next. Now from here, it's going to uh, ask you the amount. So maybe I want to say it is going to be the amount here. And from here, we want to click on request payment. And again, so it's going to uh, might uh, give you, sorry, you're not authorized to perform this action. So sometimes it's going to give this, uh, this option, to, which in this case, it's going to pop up this one. So it might need to contact customer service. But once it actually goes through, it will be receiving an email address here that I'll be showing you later on. So if it actually went through, you should be able to see a section here that says uh, payment request details. So in this case, you should be able to click on the pay now option here and from here you should be able to see the uh, page where in this case it's going to give you the uh, payment request section so if you want to log in you can go ahead and just log in here with your account but if you have you don't have an account you can go and click on pay without people account here and from here you should be able to see the next page where in this case you need to provide uh, your details so that includes your name your address and your payment details so if you have a card or a bank you should be able to provide those details there for you to proceed with the payment now in this case just follow the steps there and fill out on this details and you should be able to proceed with the payment itself how to confirm bank account on paypal or how to verify paypal bank account so the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to paypal.com and log in into your account so once you've logged in the account, you have to actually set up and verify your account. So it's actually pretty easy. You just need to add your card or add your bank into your account to basically verify your account here. So from here in the main menu, you just need to click on add card or bank and you'll be redirected to the next page. So you'll be given the option to link a credit card or link a bank account. So in this case, let's just click on link a credit card. Now from here, you'll be asked to enter your card number, the card type, expiration date, security code, as well as your billing address. So make sure that you don't share this to other people because your information will be stolen. So make sure that you hide any details and uh, no one is actually present when you actually enter this information here. So for now, let's just enter our details. So once you've entered your details, it's going to say your link, you link your bank debit. So from here, just click on done. Now from here, be, do, do be informed that your card will be used for a short duration by people. So they might charge you around uh, a few cents just to verify your account. But don't worry, those uh, billings will actually return to your account. So you just need to add your uh, card here. So do be informed sometime in the future, PayPal might, might actually request other information about yourself. Maybe you can information your name, they might ask your ID. But as, as of the moment, this is actually the way to confirm your bank account on PayPal. So it's actually pretty easy. Just follow the steps and you're good. How to pay with PayPal on eBay. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up the eBay mobile application and log in into our account. Once in here, we need to basically start adding items into our cart or start finding the item that we want to buy. So for example, we have this product here. Let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, we need to choose the option that says buy it now. Now in this case, once you click on it, it should redirect you to the checkout page, which in this case, you might need to provide some information about yourself. So that includes the shipping address that you have. 
Now in this case, uh, for you to actually pay with people here, look for the section that says pay with. And in this case, if you haven't added any payment methods, it's going to say select payment and currency option. Now once in here, choose the option that says people. And from here, it should load up PayPal as a payment method now. Now, in this case, for you to proceed, just click on the Pay with PayPal option there. And on the checkout page, it should actually ask you to log in into your account to complete the whole transaction. Now, in this case, just provide your email or your mobile number and just click on Next and provide your password for you to complete your transaction. And that's about it. Power to link PayPal to Steam. So first thing that we have to do here is we need to open up our Steam and log in into our account. So since I already log in into our account, the next thing that we want to do here is we need to locate our account. So typically it's located at the top right of your screen. So in here, when you click on this one, this is the man manage account section here. If you click on it, you'll see a few things here. So in here, we need to visit our wallet so that we'll be able to cash in or do some transactions on Steam. So in this case, let's just click on view my wallet. Now in here, you'll be able to see the amount that you have on your Steam wallet. So the amount that you have here or the currency that you have in your account here depends on where you're currently at. So if you're in the Philippines, you're going to use a Philippine peso. If you're in the US, you are going to use US dollars. So in this case, it's going to be the same thing for other countries or other regions. What you need to do here is just click on add funds. And when you click on this one, it's going to load up a new page on your Steam application here. So let's just wait for it to load up. But once it loads up, it's going to bring up this page here which says payment method. So by default, if you've already added your banking details, like for example, if you have a Visa card or a MasterCard in your account, that let's say, for example, you've already linked your MasterCard here, you have a card number, expiration date, all of the billing information about your account is going to be located here. So if you want to use PayPal on your account, what you need to do is you need to change your payment method here. So like before, if you're using MasterCard, you want to use a PayPal here, just click on PayPal. And as you can see, it's going to say, if your billing address is not in the Philippines, please select this store region and about this one. So if you want to set your store region, you could go ahead and just click on this one and you'll be able to change that. But in, in this case, it doesn't really matter <laughs> what we're doing right now. But in here, you also have the option to save your payment information. So if uh, if you're having checkouts in the future time, you could immediately just use PayPal and you don't have to do the whole thing again whenever you're making transactions. But yeah, once you've selected PayPal here, just click on continue and it's going to give you this information here. PayPal and transactions are authorized through PayPal website, meaning you have to actually link your account via the PayPal website. So when you click on the continue button here, and from here, just click on PayPal. And as you can see, it's going to load up the website for PayPal. Now in here, what you need to do is you just need to log in into your account. Uh, and once you've logged in into your account, they might ask you to verify that it's you. So you, they might send you like a confirmation number that you need to enter here. But once you've able to log in into your PayPal account here, you'll be able to connect your Steam account with your PayPal. And once you've connected that, you'll be able to use PayPal as a payment method whenever you're checking out or cashing in the in your account in Steam. So yeah, so this one is pretty simple. You just need to go to the specific location that I've just shown you. Just log in into your PayPal account. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and just use PayPal as the payment method whenever you're cashing in or checking out. And that's about it how to transfer Gcash to PayPal. So just to give you a few information first before you proceed with the video, so I just need to inform you that currently there is no direct way for us to transfer from Gcash to PayPal. So unfortunately, there is no direct way for us to do this, but we could actually do this the the other way around this one so this is gonna be a uh, kind of a three-way transaction here because in this case in this tutorial I'll be showing you uh, how to transfer to a bank account and from a bank account you need to transfer this one to your PayPal account so in here 
the first thing you want to do here is you want to proceed on processing your Gcash funds to a bank account. So if you're not aware yet, you could go ahead, just go ahead, open up Gcash here. And once you've opened up Gcash, just click on the button that says send. And once you click on that, you'll be able to re be redirected to this UI. So in this case, since we want to send this to our bank, just click on the option that says transfer. Now here in the next UI, you'll be able to see the frequent banks or partner banks that is actually connected to Gcash. You can go ahead and use one of the banks here if you are if you have an account with them. But if you click on view all here, you'll be able to see the other banks that is actually connected to Gcash. Now in here, just to give you an example, how do you actually process a transaction? So let's just open up BPI here. Now in here, you need to provide the following details. So that includes the amount, the account name, and the account number. So the account number here is really important as well as the account name. So make sure that the account name as well as the account number matches what you're actually entering here. So if you um, mistakenly enter a different account number, then most probably they, your account, you won't be able to actually receive that. So make sure that the details that you're entering here are as actually as ac accurate as you can. Now, once you've sent this money in your bank account, we are now ready to transfer this to our PayPal account. So how do we transfer this to our PayPal account? So first thing you want to do here is you want to ensure that you have two email addresses. So first email address is the email address that it is use, that you are actually using for your PayPal account and another email address that is just for uh, a something that we are going to use as a uh, but kind of the third party for the transfer itself. So I'll be showing you how it actually works. So go ahead and open up PayPal here. And once you've opened up PayPal, what you need to do here. So uh, again, a few information so that you are just aware. So previously, there is an option for us to actually cash in or add money in directly into our PayPal account. But currently, that is no longer supported. So we need to do this the hard way. So that is really unfortunate here. So in this case, let's just go ahead and click on a request. Now in this page, we need to enter the email address that is for our email address, which is what I told you before, a buffer email address or just an extra email address. So let me just enter the email address I'll be using. Now, once you've entered your email address, you'll be redirected to the next UI here. So you need to enter the amount that you want to cash in. So just click on next. And from here, just click on request now. Now, again, just to give you information, so if you're going to use the same email to send a uh, request, a money uh, about uh, for yourself, it will not actually allow you to do that in PayPal. So that's why I'm asking you to have a spare email address for this one. But yeah, so once you uh, have the requested money from, from your um extra email address what you need to do is you want to go ahead and open up your gmail and from here you will receive the following email email here on your email address so in this case just click on the option that says pay now and from here it's going to open up a browser and as you can see it's going to say you could either log in via your uh, account using your spare email address but you could go ahead and just pay as a guest. So I would suggest you to use pay as a guest if you don't want to create another PayPal account. So this one's going to be a lot easier. So in here, it's going to ask you country or region. So you could go ahead and choose the country or region here. So if you're sending from the Philippines, make sure you choose Philippines. If you're using uh, sending from or you're in the U United States, make sure that you it's set to United States. But yeah. So once you've done that, next thing you want to do here, choose the payment type. So by default, it's going to be purchasing goods and services or sending to friends and family. So just click on send to friends or family. And from here, you need to enter the following details. So it's going to be your payment information, uh, legal first name, legal last name, card number, expiration date, and security code. 
So most of the time, if you have a bank account, you also have a card. So that will be either a Visa card or a MasterCard. So make sure that you check the front and back so that you'll be able to see the card number as well as the expiration date and security code. Now, once you've entered that, you also need to enter your billing address. So that includes your street address, building, CD, state, and zip code. And here is the contact information, so phone number as well as your email. And in here, you also have the option to uh, create a PayPal account to skip this form and check out faster next time. So you could go ahead and skip this one if you don't want to create a PayPal account. And once you've filled up all of these details, just click on continue and it's going to start processing your transaction and you'll be able to cash in into your PayPal account. So that's about it. So this is the workaround for cashing in since we don't have the direct way uh, right now. So just to give you a recap, uh, transfer your funds from your Gcash account to your bank account. And from there, you need to email address one from your main email address and another extra email address. Now from your PayPal account, request money on your extra email address and once you requested money go ahead and access that email and from there look for an email address and you'll be redirected to this ui until you complete all the form here and you'll be able to cash in how to transfer amazon gift card balance to people account so you might be wondering how do you actually uh, redeem or transfer your card balance into people account well first thing we need to do here is we first have to know if it's actually possible for us to transfer our gift card balance well the tricky part here is usually on how we actually deem our gift card balance we go to our account at the top right here and we go to gift cards and in here we click on redeem a gift card and usually we just need to enter our claim code here and we should be able to redeem it into our amazon account but currently with how amazon currently set up and also based on their terms of use here for amazon balance and gift cards currently you will not be able to use gift card balances or your gift cards in other platforms now meaning if you've already redeemed your card here and is now a balance on your account you won't be able to basically use it or transfer it to other accounts so that includes paypal so in this case it is not uh, required or sorry it, it is not possible and it is not or not part of amazon's screen system but the thing here is if you have a Amazon gift card here already and if you want to use it for other purposes like for example a gift card for DoorDash, Best Buy, Google Pay here or Uber or Starbucks you could basically just use that gift card to buy another gift card and send it to yourself. But yeah, if you really want to transfer that balance to your people, you could ask your friends or trade it to, with your friends. Like for example, they are looking for an Amazon gift card and you haven't used your Amazon gift card yet. Then you could basically trade them that gift card for a balance on your people account. So yeah, so in this case, it is not possible. So if you really want it, you could uh, sell it to your friends or family members or trade it for a significant amount for your people balance or people account but yeah so be careful out there for scammers they might or if you see any tours there that, out there that says that you it is possible for you to transfer your people balance or people uh, uh your amazon balance or gift card balance here to your people account they might hack you so be careful uh, out there we don't want to spread misinformation but yeah so that's about it you have to transfer money from venmo to people so you might be wondering, is it actually possible for us to actually transfer from Venmo to PayPal? So first things first is we first have to discuss if it's actually possible. So currently with how Venmo and PayPal is actually set up, there's no direct way for us to actually transfer our funds from Venmo to PayPal. But the great thing about this one is we can still do this indirectly. So in what means can we actually do this indirectly? Well, we could actually utilize our already existing bank accounts for us to actually make the transfer itself. Now, in this case, what you need to do first is you need to access your Venmo account. And from here, you need to access your balance. Now, in your balance section, click on the manage option there. And from here, what we need to do is you need to transfer your 
uh, funds into your bank so choose the option here that says transfer to bank and from here on what we need to do next is just complete the whole process or the whole steps for you to transfer your funds into your bank account now once you've transferred your funds into your bank account what you need to do next is just access your people account now on your people account usually you have the option here that says link credit card or link bank account option in this case go ahead and choose the link a bank account and from then on just enter the necessary details that they will require from you so that includes the account number and a bunch of details about yourself in this case once you've done that you can go ahead and just proceed on cashing in and from then you should be able to transfer your funds from your venmo account to your paypal so currently this is the only way for us to actually transfer our funds from venmo to paypal and that's about it how to transfer pay card to paypal so you might be wondering how do you proceed with the transfer from pay card to paypal well in this case we'll be showing you via paypal itself now you might be wondering how do you connect your pay card well it's actually pretty easy so go to paypal.com log in into your account and you should see this ui here now in this ui here look for the option that says add card or bank now in this case go ahead and choose add card or bank here now from here what we need to do is we just need to choose the option that says link a credit card now from here you just need to provide your card number your card type expiration date and your security code as well as your billing address now once you hit on link card it might ask you to further verify yourself by a code so go ahead and enter that code and once you've done that you should be able to link your passive card into paypal now in this case if you're the owner of the paypal account then most likely you could just basically start using your paypal account for any purchases because paypal will start using your passive card as a, as a means of payment now if you are not the owner of the PayPal account and you're wondering how do, you, do I actually send my funds from Paysafe card to another PayPal user? Well, in this case, in uh, this case, you just need to first connect your Paysafe card into PayPal and choose the option here that says send. Now, in the send section, what you need to do is you just need to provide the email or the username of the PayPal user. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter the name of the user that we want to send to. So for example, I have this email here. So let's go ahead and type in that email. And from here, we need to click on this one. Now from here, we need to indicate how much that we want to send. So maybe I want to say I want to send around uh, $10, just an example. And you also need to choose what this is for. So for example, hey, here are some funds. And from here, you could go and click on send. Now, it's going to say choose a payment type. So for friends and family, so or for goods and services. So let's go and choose for friends and family. Hit on continue. Now, from here, it's going to say link a payment method. So in this case, if you already link your card or your piece of card into your PayPal account, it will no longer appear in here. But in this case, you should be able to see the confirmation page and just proceed with the transaction itself. Now, in this case, that's how you transfer from piece of card to PayPal. How to find PayPal account number. So the first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up the PayPal mobile application. So go ahead and locate your PayPal mobile application and log in into your account. Now, first thing that we should be finding out here first is where do we actually find our PayPal account number? So we need to answer that question first. So at the top left, you should be able to see an icon or person icon there. Just go ahead and click on it. And from here, since this page is a protected UI, I won't be able to show you here. But what you need to do here is you need to scroll down a bit until you see the help section. So go ahead and click on help. And from here, we want to type the following, which is going to be account number. Now, in this case, once you've typed it, just hit on enter to start the search. And as you can see, there's a question there. What is my people account number? Now, based from this article, so your people account is not identified by an account number or ID. Your account is identified by an email address that you log in with. So this is directly from people and according to them, your account is not attached to a account number. Your account number or sorry, the people account that you have right now is actually attached to the 
email that you use to create your account. Meaning if you want to start a transaction, like for example, you want to send a specific amount to another user, then you'll have to enter their email address to the transaction itself for you to make those transfers. And yeah, so if you want to make transactions via your PayPal account here, you just need to get their email address and that's what you need to start your transactions. You have to get PayPal virtual credit card. So first thing that we need to do here is we first have to ensure that we have a PayPal account. So go to PayPal.com, log in into your account, and verify your account. So make sure you provide all necessary details here. So that includes your first name, last name, and any necessary details to verify your account. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that you want to do is you want to access a different website, but is under PayPal. Now, this website is going to be PayPal-Prepaid.com. Now, in this website, you should be able to basically start ordering your card here. So at the main menu of this website here, you have the order your card section. So let's go ahead and click on it. And so it should open up a new tab here wherein you need to enter your information. So that includes your first name, last name, street address, zip code, email address, as well as entering a few questions here for direct deposit and PayPal, PayPal prebeat balance transfers. In this case, go ahead and answer all necessary details here. And in this case, you also have the option to choose your card design. So they have a multi, uh, number of colors here that you could choose from. You have the blue, white, and even the gradient colors here as well as pink if you want that. Now in this case, once you filled out all the necessary details, just click on order a card and follow further steps if they require further information from your side to order your card. But in this case, once you've ordered your card, it should take about a few days or a few weeks before you could receive this one. So typically, it's going to be 15 days. But once you receive your card, you could go ahead and go back to PayPal-Prepay.com. And you should see the link here that says activate your card account here. And from here, what we need to do is just basically follow the steps for you to basically... Oh, activate your prepaid card or virtual card for people so that includes your card number as well as your security code how to remove limitations from a people account so in this case how do we remove the limitations from our people account so what we need to do first is access our account so go to people.com log into our account and from here on we need to access our profile to stop right off your screen go ahead and hover over it and you have a message sensor profile settings account settings and locked out in this case, go ahead and click on account settings. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to access a specific section, which is going to be account access. Now under account access, you should be able to see limits. Now in this case, go ahead and click on view. Now in this case, you should be able to see the limits that you have on your account. Now this would contain the every information about this one and the limits that you have. But in this case, the most important one is going to be the very and last bottom part of this specific page. But for now, let's just wait for it to load up. So once it actually loads up, this is what's going to look like. So you have balance limit, receiving limit, and descending limit here. Now also at the very bottom, you should see limit lift limits. In this case, go ahead and click on it and it should redirect you to another page. But in this case, you just need to link a bank account. Now from here on, you just need to complete the form that they'll be asking you to complete and you should be able to lift the limits on your account. How to create and send people invoices. In this case, how do we create and send people invoices? Well, creating one and sending one is actually pretty easy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to access your web browser, go to people.com and log into your account. In this case, since I've already gone to people.com and locked into my account, what we need to do next is we need to actually uh, create an invoice. So typically at the top right, you should be able to see an icon that says create an invoice. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, it should redirect you to the invoice creation process here. And there's a few things that you need to do here or basically uh, uh, fill up for you to actually uh, send your invoice. So first is we need to choose our template and currency. Now, at the top right of your invoice here, you have our template. So there are three templates to choose from. We have amounts only, ours, or quantity. In this case, choose the appropriate uh, type of uh, template that you want to use. So for amounts only, this is what it's going to look like. So for example, you are you want to actually build a single user or customer here or build multiple customers. Now you have the items here, the email address or name, 
and any services or items that you want to include here as well. Now the due date and all those details. Now if we choose hours, this is what it's going to look like. So in this case, you need to indicate how many hours for that specific item or service. Now, if you choose quantity, which in this case is going to be the focus of our tutorial here, you'll have the option to basically add the item, so the usual stuff here. So, you also need to choose your currency. So there's a lot of currency to choose from here, but I'll be sticking with PHP or, in this case, Philippine Peso. Now, from here, you have the option to add your logo if you have any. So let's go and click on add logo here, choose and upload your logo. Now from here, you also have the option to change your information, like the business location that you have, your email address, as well as your mobile number. Now, in this case, you could also, again, add edit your business info if you want to. Now, in this case, the email address or name section allows you to basically enter the email address that you want to actually build to or send this. So for, as an example, I could go ahead and click on add new customer here and basically fill out all the necessary details for that customer. So that includes their first name, their last name, their business name, an email address, and the uh, phone number associated for that specific customer. You can change the code here to a different one. For example, you're billing someone from another or to uh, from another country. So in this case, you could choose the appropriate one that applies to them. You also have the option to add a billing address, shipping address, and invoice language and additional notes if you want to. Now, in this case, I just want to include a specific email address here. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter it. And from here, let's go ahead and basically start adding items. As you can see, you could only add or you can also just add your email address here instead of fooling, uh, fill, uh, adding all those details or customer details. But again, I would recommend you to first uh, ba basically enter all the entire details about your customer just to be sure. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and click on the items to be shipped to address. So let's go ahead and click on add address here and provide their address. Because in this case, if there are physical items that you need to ship, make sure to indicate that as well. Now, you also have the CC additional recipients. Like for example, if you have third party uh, uh, companies uh, need to be informed regarding this one, you can basically CC them in the recipient section here. Now, in this case, you can go and add your items. Like for example, there's going to be tests item one and how many items for that and the price for it so for example there's going to be around 100 philippine peso and from here you can also add a description for that specific item now you can also add another item if you want to add the item name the quantity the price and if it's actually taxable so in this case you can also uh, choose the option to add a row if you want to so if you click on it you should be able to add a row now, in this case, if you want to delete a row here, you can go and click on the X next to the specific row there. Let's go ahead and click on the X so that we only have one item. Now, we also have the message to customer here. So if you want to uh, basically send them a grading here, like for example, thank, thank you for buying the items. Uh, items will be shipped, so you could go ahead and add those. You can also add terms and conditions here and any reference number that you want to add. So for example, I'm going to say test uh, message and from here, we also have the right panel. Now you also have the option to add an invoice number for your invoice here, the invoice date, and the due date for it. So in this case, on receipt, so maybe 10 days or in 10 days on a specific date or no due date at all. So you can choose one of the following options here. Also have the option or other discounts if you want to add those. So I also have the shipping if there are any shipping costs. So by default, the subtotal will be added in here. So depending on how much you actually indicate in your section here, this will be automatically updated. Now, we also have the payment options here. So in this case, if you allow partial payment, so the minimum due if you need to, and if you want to allow tips, you can go and do that as well. So. In this case, once you've provided all the details here, you can go and click on the I button here, which in this case allows you to actually preview or basically see what your invoice is going to look like. So in this case, what's, this is what's going to look like for me. So in this case, if you want to edit again, go and click on edit invoice. Now you also have the tree dot icon here if you want to share a link to this invoice, even save this as draft or save as template for further use uh, sometime, in the, uh, uh, sometime in the future. In this case, go and click on send. And this will actually send this information into the email address that we actually added into the invoice. So in this case, when we go to gmail.com and visit our other email, you should be able to see an invoice from the following user and the invoice number itself. 
as you can see this is your here is your invoice amount that you need to pay so if they need to pay for it just click on view or they should be able to click on view and pay and again the details required here the due amount and if they want to add a tip and basically select the pay method uh, or basically start paying for that specific invoice how to transfer your payable money to your bank account in this case how do we transfer people money to your bank account well first things first is we need to download the actual people mobile app so i've already downloaded it but if you haven't make sure to download it from google play store and um, in this case let's go open it up now in this case log in into your account if you haven't so in this case once you've logged in this is what you'll be seeing on your screen so what we need to do first here is we first need to link our bank account so in this case go to your wallet at the bottom right here and from here what we need to do is we need to add a bank so choose the add banks and cards here or the add new button so in this case choose either debit or credit cards or banks but in this case we'll be choosing banks now, obviously, the next screen is going to be uh, somewhat protected, and I won't be able to show show the actual screen here. But in this case, on the next screen, you need to choose a provider or a bank institution in this page here. So in this case, you need to provide the bank name, the bank code, as well as the bank account number. Now, in this case, uh, if you're using a US-based bank, make sure to click on the link a US bank instead of very, at the very bottom because they'll need uh, other details here instead. Now, in this case, once you provided your details here for your bank, uh, you just need to wait for at least three days or a week for them to actually confirm and fully uh, utilize your account or your banking details in your people account. But once those are actually connected, you should be able to see it in the bank section in here. Now, in this case, how do we actually send to a bank account? Well, sending to a bank account is, uh, there are actually two ways here. So if you want to send to a friend's bank account, you could choose the send option here and just send or use the send functionality as you would, as you usually would. So in this case, you need to find a contact here and basically uh, send them uh, this specific uh, amount that you want to send. But if you want to uh, transfer the, the money that you have right now into your bank account, well, it's somewhat different here. So what you need to do is you need to access your balance. So in this case, go to your wallet at the bottom right here, and you should be able to see your balance. So go ahead and click on your actual balance here. So it's going to say PayPal balance. And usually just underneath the actual amount that you have right now, depending on the region that your account is currently based on, you should be able to see a button that says transfer. So if you're not aware yet, that transfer button actually allows you to transfer to your uh, bank account. So it basically you're withdrawing the amount that you have right now on your PayPal into your um, bank account. But currently, again, and it is not available in every region. So depending on where your account is created or where you currently add, the option to transfer might not be available to you. So in this case, it's going to be somewhat different and you might need to use the send functionality instead here. How to send money from people to Wise account. So how do you actually send people to your Wise account? Well, this one is kind of easy. So I'll be showing you how to do that exactly. So in our PayPal account here, we usually transfer or initiate a transfer via the send button here. So whenever you click on this one, it's going to ask you who are you actually sending this to. So you need to enter a specific email address. So in this case, let's just enter this email address here and we want to state the amount. Now, from here, you just proceed with the pull process. So it might ask you to add your card or other stuff or provide other details for you to proceed with the payment. But how do you actually send your money to WISE? Because with WISE, you don't really see much in your account here. So usually there's just a send button here and other stuff here. But the good thing with WISE here is you could actually receive money if it's actually or if your account is eligible. So in this case, we want to go to the left side or left panel here and we see the option that says manage. So go ahead and click on manage. And from here, you should be able to see other details here, which includes account details, auto conversion, direct debits, scheduled transfers or payment requests, donations, and a lot of other stuff here.
Now, in this case, we want to go to account details because, as you can see, I'm just going to give you a view, a view and share your account details to get paid. So we need to view our account details on Y. So go ahead and click on account details and you want to choose the the account or the bank that you have. So currently, if you're in the Australia, make sure that you choose Australia. If you have British pound, pound here, make sure that you choose British pound or euro and or just make sure that you choose the correct country here. Now, once you've chosen the country, you'll be redirected to this page here. So just click on get account details and uh, you should be able to see your account details wherein you could proceed on copying your bank details for you to send your transfer from PayPal to WISE. So in this case, just enter the amount here, just click on next. Now from here, we want to choose for friends and family, just click on continue. And from here, it's going to ask you to link a card if you have it like your account. But from here, just make sure that you just follow the steps and uh, proceed with payment. And you should be good on making a transfer from people to WISE. And that's about it. How to transfer money from PayPal to Binance. So in this case, you might have heard about PayPal actually handling crypto. So whenever you go to Google.com and search for PayPal crypto here, it actually shows us a link here that says buy, sell, hold cryptocurrency on PayPal itself. So in this case, when you actually access this page here, as you can see, it's going to say this page couldn't be found. So currently, this option or this feature is only available for people in the United States. So meaning if you're not in the United States, you will not be able to access the cryptocurrency feature in PayPal as of this moment because of the restrictions. But in this case, uh, what we need to do here is we need to use an alternative way of actually transferring uh, whatever you want to transfer here. So in this case, for PayPal, if you want to integrate your PayPal account or your PayPal balances into your Binance account, well, in this case, it's not directly possible because of the restrictions that is available in Binance. So for you to actually add money or transfer money from your uh, PayPal account into Binance account, you need to have a third a party that would work as a means to transfer your money, which in this case is going to be an actual bank account that you have. Now, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to go to a PayPal.com, log in into your account, and from here, we need to first add our card. So in this case, go ahead and click on add card or bank here. And from here, choose either credit card or bank account. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on credit uh, car, uh, card option here. And you just need to provide the following information. So that includes your debit or credit card number, the card type here, the expiration date, the security code, and even an address here. Now, once you've added all the details, just click on link card to link your card into your PayPal account. Now, once you've done that, if you have any PayPal balance in your PayPal account, what you need to do is just click on the transfer funds option here or the button that you see here. And typically, it's going to redirect you to another page. In this case, you just need to indicate where you want to transfer it and some confirmation and some details. Now, in this case, uh, once you've completed the transfer process here, so obviously, you need to have a specific amount of by a PayPal balance here that you need to transfer to your uh, bank account for you to access that. But once you've transferred all the funds on your PayPal account into your bank account, we are now ready to transfer those funds from our bank account into our Binance account. Now, typically, when you go to Binance.com, what you need to do is we just need to click on the Buy Crypto at the top left here. And from here, you just need to indicate how much you want to buy. So, for example, I want to uh, indicate the uh, USD here that I want to buy. So for example, I want to uh, maybe just for just to give you an example, I want to maybe spend around fifteen dollars or US dollars for, for me to buy BTC here. In this case, we need, also need to choose the pay with option here. Now you have the fee up payment and the P2P trading here. So in this case, if you want to uh, basically choose your card here, you can go and choose the change option here or add a card option. So for now, I since already have a card here, I can just click on change here, click on add new card, and just need to indicate all the necessary details here that includes the uh, name, the credit uh, credit or debit card information, and even expiry date and the security code or CVV itself, and just hit on confirm to save your changes. Now, once you've saved your changes, what you need to do is just select that card, click on confirm, and just click on buy PTC here. And from here, it's going to ask you to enter your CVV to confirm that you want to buy that. In this case, just enter your CVV, click on confirm, and you should be able to transfer your balance into Binance. How to hide your real name on PayPal. 
So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to people.com, log it into our account, and as you can see, I'm already here in my homepage. Now what we need to do next here is access our settings so at the top right of your screen next to the log out link you should be able to see a gear icon so let's go ahead and click on it and this should actually redirect you to your profile now in this case in your profile usually you should be able to see your name here and in this case you, what you need to do here is you just need to click on the change name option so currently this is the only way for you to change or hide your real name on people but be aware that changing your name here can lead to some uh, difficulties on your account especially if your account has a valid id entered on it so in this case it's going to compare that with your id and you might have some or, or you might get some troubles on your account so in this case, people is actually against the fraudulent activity. So that's why entering an incorrect name here could lead to serious consequences. Like for example, getting your account banned or deactivated or having or getting difficulties on receiving money or even sending money. Now, in this case, if you're tr going to try access different settings here, like for example, going to your data and privacy here or going to security, you won't be able to see any option there that enables you to add nicknames or names or other names that you could use for people here, which is something really unfortunate. But in this case, if you really want to hide your name here, the only way for you to do that is by changing your name. But be aware, there might be some consequences on it, especially if your account is uh, verified. But in this case, that is how you hide your name or real name in people. But in this case, so be careful when actually doing this. But that's about it. How to change language in people mobile app. So in this case, how can you change the language on your people mobile app? Well, first things first is we first need to see if it's actually possible via the people mobile app itself. In this case, let's go ahead and open up people here. And typically in your profile or in your people account, usually you won't be able to see a section that says settings. So whenever you go to your profile again, you won't be able to, to see any settings here. As you can see, this screen is actually protected, so you won't be able to see my screen here or my details. But in this case, in this mobile app, there are no settings to actually change the language for people. But the great thing about having Android devices is you can actually change the language on your device itself. Now, in this case, since, again, it's not possible via the mobile app only, we'll need to do this via our settings in our mobile phone. In this case, look for settings here. Go ahead and open it up. And from here, scroll down a bit. And from here, you should be able to see that says additional settings. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, you should be able to see a section that says languages and input. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, you should be able to see languages. So let's go ahead and click on it again. Now from here in languages, make sure to choose the language that you want to use. Like for example, if you want to choose Dutch or uh, any other language here or Espanol or any other languages again, you can just basically choose that. And once you've chosen the correct languages language here, you should be able to go back into PayPal and you should be able to see that those language or the language for your PayPal account or your PayPal mobile app has been updated to the language of your choosing. But in this case, that's about it. How to change personal PayPal to business account. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to access our PayPal account. So go to PayPal.com and log in into your account. Now once logged in, like you see on my screen here, we now need to access our settings. So typically at the top right of your screen, you should see a gear icon, which in this case is going to be the settings icon for your account. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, once in your settings, you should be able to see some details about your account that includes email, phone numbers, but the most important section here is at the very bottom. So scroll down a bit until you see the option that says unlock new features like Express Checkout. Now, you should see a link here that says upgrade to a business account. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, it's going to ask you some information before you can proceed. So tell us about your business first. So in this case, you can select individual, sole proprietor, partnership, corporation. In this case, choose the appropriate option for you. Just hit on continue. Now, you have two options. You have the create business account. So you'll be able to open a separate PayPal account with a different email if you choose the first one here. 
Now in this case, if you want to proceed with the first option, just hit on it or click on it. Make sure it's selected and click on continue and it should redirect you to the creation process or the sign up uh, page for the business account. So you need to provide the following details here and agree to your users and privacy statement. But if you want to use the other option for uh, creating your business type, well, in this case, it's actually pretty easy. Now, in this case, once in the you need the business account page again, just literally choose the option that says upgrade your account. So this will upgrade your already existing PayPal account here to basically manage or uh, to basically convert it into a business account. So if you choose this one, click on continue, you will again need to ask or basically enter all the details that they require here. So that includes your phone number, your legal business name here, your address, and all the necessary information. And once you hit on it, you should now have a business account. And that's about it. How to integrate people checkout in Shopify. So how do we integrate uh, people into Shopify? So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to log in into our Shopify account. So go to shopify.com, log in into your account, and open up the store that you want to customize. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to access our settings. So settings is going to be located at the bottom left here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, we need to go to the payment section at the left panel here. Now, once you click on it, you should be able to see your payment section. Now, by default, you should be able to see people under additional payment methods. Now, in this case, by default, again, your email address they use to create your Shopify account will be used as a means of setting up your PayPal account here. So typically, it's going to say finish setting up or for some users, they will see the activate PayPal here. Now, in this case, this, this is the first time that you're accessing people. Again, it's going to say finish setting up at the bottom right here. But if this is the, uh, if you're accessing it or you only see the activate button here, you can just basically click on activate. Now, it's going to actually request some information regarding your account. So that includes connect a people account to start accepting payments on Shopify. The first is you need to basically determine the country of or region of your PayPal account as well as the email itself. So in this case, let's go and fill that up. Now, there are going to be two outcomes here. So if your email address they use to uh, basically connect your PayPal account and to Shopify does not have any business accounts on PayPal, then it will automatically redirect you to another page. But in this case, you need to create your PayPal account or PayPal business account for you in order for you to proceed. But if you already have a PayPal business account, it's going to redirect you to the login page here, as you can see on my screen. Now in this case, let's go ahead and enter our password and just click on lock in. Now in this case, once you're logged in, it's going to say thanks for signing up. Now it's going to say you are now or you now have an account and you've successfully integrated people with Shopify. Now in this case, you might also need to confirm your email. So in this case, they will be sending you an email, which in this case, you just need to follow for you to actually confirm your account. But in this case, let's go and click on go back to Shopify. Now, it, read, it will actually redirect you to Shopify here. Let's just wait for it to load up. But once it actually loads up, you should be able to see additional payment methods here and go to the section here. As you can see, our PayPal account is already connected here and PayPal Express Checkout is now active. Now, in this case, that's about it. You have to link PayPal to Facebook Payout. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Facebook. Now, from Facebook, what we need to do here is we need to click on the tree bar icon that you see at the top right of your screen. And once you click on that, you need to scroll down a bit until you see the section that says settings and privacy. Go ahead and click that. And from here, you need to look for orders and payment. And once you click on this one, it's going to load up this UI here. So since PayPal is a type of payment method, we want to go ahead and just click on payment methods that you see there. And from here, just click on add payment method. Now from here, you have two options. So you either have a credit or a debit card or the PayPal method. So since we want to attach or link our PayPal account, just click on PayPal here. And from there, it's going to load up this specific page here, wherein you need to enter your PayPal details. So in this stage, you just need to enter your email address. And from there, once you've entered your email address, you need to enter your password or the confirmation number that is actually attached to your PayPal account. 
Now, once you've completed the whole process, you'll be able to link your PayPal account into your Facebook payout account. And that's about it. So this one is pretty easy. You could be easily connecting your PayPal account into your Facebook. How to fix bank account link problem in PayPal. So sometimes when you create your new PayPal account, you'll get this issue here, which says we can't connect to your bank right now. So it's going to be really annoying because you're setting up your account and you are unable to connect your bank into your PayPal account. So how do we solve this? But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So going back, the best way or the easiest way for us to solve this problem is to use another account or your friend's account and basically make a very little transaction. So maybe around $2, you want to transfer $2 from your friend's account or from your other account into this account that you just recently created. So when you transfer your funds here, it's going to actually be held by PayPal. But by doing that, you'll be able to unlock other features in PayPal. So it's going to trigger something into PayPal system and that would actually uh, give you the permissions or the capability to add your bank account here so that's the first thing that you want to do try transferring at least two dollars into your account and see if that solves your issue now if that doesn't solve your issue there are actually multiple reasons why you are unable to connect or link your bank accounts so we just made a google search here it's pretty easy so there's are here are the reasons why you are unable to link your bank account so the first reason is your account or bank account should be in the same country where your PayPal account is located. So if your account is in the US, make sure that your the bank that you're connecting is also in the US. So if your account is like, for example, in another country, but your bank account is in the US, then there's a high probability that you won't be able to connect your account so they must be in the same country or in the same region for you to be able to connect your bank account to your people account now another reason that you might have issues connecting or linking your bank account is your bank name and the name in your PayPal account doesn't really match. So you have to make sure that the details that you've stated in your bank and the details you've provided on your PayPal account actually matches. So if that if that doesn't match, then there's a high probability that your accounts will not be linked. Now, another reason for you to have this issue is there's a probability that your card or your bag is being used by another PayPal account. So if you have another PayPal account and you are currently already using that for your other account, then your that, that bank account will no longer be usable on your other PayPal account. So that's the other reason. So another reason, because before uh, you are able to link your people account to your bank account. So you have up to three, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're able to use it up to three people accounts, then that's okay. But once it limits or reaches more than three, then there's a high chance that you will no longer be able to link that bank account into your newer people account. So you have to make sure that you are currently just using that bank account into one PayPal account just to make, just to be sure. Now, another reason for you to have this issue is there's a higher chance that your account is currently limited or is below zero. So you have to make sure that you have enough funds into your bank account for you to link that because sometimes for your bank to establish connection on people, they would actually request payment from that card, but that payment will be returned into your account. So no worries on that. So you just need to make sure that you have a balance or funds enough to support your people account. And finally, one of the reasons or fire reasons that you are having this issue is your people account 
or your bank account are not compatible. So there's a chance that your bank isn't supported by people at the moment, then you might want to change on your bank account if that's the case, or you could search for another kind of payment method similar to PayPal if your bank is not supported. How to delete a PayPal account. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to people.com, log in into your account, and once you log in, we are now able to start deleting our PayPal account. Now to delete your PayPal account, you first need to access your settings. So typically at the top right of your screen, next to the log in link that you see there, you should see a gear icon. So this is the settings icon that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, in this case, you should be able to see your account settings. So that includes your name and email and other necessary information uh, about your account. But in this case, when you actually scroll down a bit, you should be able to see a section that says close your account. Now, in this case, go ahead and click on close your account here. And it should give you a pop up here, which in this case is going to say, are you sure you want to close your account? Now, if you're having any problems with PayPal, that's why you're wanting to close it. You can actually contact them via this link that you see here. Now, some information about closing your account here. So once you've closed your account, you won't be able to log in again on that account. You will be, you will no, no longer be able to see your past transactions as well. And you will not be able to recover this account again now if you want to delete your data first you could access the delete your data link here and just follow the steps to delete your data first before closing your account now in this case once you're sure just click on the close account button that you see at the very bottom and that would actually close your account and from then on you should be good but in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video